Welcome everyone to the very last day of the 30 day challenge. I have no idea how we have gotten this far. It has been so much fun. Thank you for being on this journey with me. And today we are doing a beautiful, super, super, super relaxing finale flow for you. So come on down to your mats, get super comfy, grab a block or some books, grab a strap, grab a pillow, grab a blanket, and we'll get straight into it. So we're gonna start on our backs, nice and slow, roll on down, vertebra by vertebra. Feet in towards our hips. And just start to focus on the rise and fall of your breath. You might have your knees inwards and your feet walk slightly out to just feel that nice release on your lower back. And I just want you to just start to melt into the present moment. Melt into the body and into the breath. Allow yourself to just surrender. Inhale, feel the belly, the ribs and collarbones. And exhale, just start to relax and release. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale and exhale. Just let any last tension go. Nice and slowly, if your feet are wider than hip distance, walk your feet in and bring one knee into your chest and then the other, giving yourself a super deep hug. You might rock side to side here. You might take figure eights. Just gently observe the sensations and just really savor that slow massage, that slow release. When we're ready, we're gently just going to make our feet touch the ground again, hip distance apart, close to our hips. Just grab a strap, dog lead, partner's tie, anything that'll do. Nice and long. Um, and we're going to use our strap nicely today. We're going to wrap it around our right foot. Take our right foot long and just breathe here. Inhale, feel that connection of the hip to the earth. And exhale, soften. Inhale, just notice any sensations here. And exhale, just soften, let any tension go. Relax the neck, the jaw, the shoulders. When we're ready, both sides of the strap go into our right hand. So same foot, same hand. We're just going to gently send our left arm out beside us just as a counterbalance. So we're going to bend our knees in towards our armpit and just open up our hip towards the side very gently. Nice inner thigh stretch here, just focusing on the rise and fall of our breath. Inhale. Just observe the sensations and exhale, just gently soften and release. Inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, let go, one more deep inhale, and exhale, come back to center. Send our left leg long, transfer our left hand, right foot, and we're going to send our right arm out beside us. So gaze towards our right fingertips, our right shoulder stays on the ground, and our foot goes to the opposite direction to our gaze, so it goes over to the left. You can have that knee bent or straight, just take it a little way, or you might twist quite a bit, just adjust the length of the strap as needed for the stretch that you want. You'll feel it in your hamstring, your glute, your lower back, your ITB, anywhere in between. Just gently 
soften and release with each exhale. Letting go of any tension, any clenching, holding on. Gently sinking deeper and deeper with each breath. When you're ready, super slowly and gently make your way back up, right foot to the sky, and just play, you might rock it side to side, super gently, rock it forward and back, just observe the sensation. And bring that knee in towards your chest, take the strap off that right foot and just give your knee a nice hug. You might rock side to side, you might just be still. It's time to give thanks and awareness to your body that carries you every day, that has carried you the full length of this challenge. Say thanks for all it's done for you and all it is yet to do. Place that sole of the foot down on the ground. We'll bring our left knee in towards our chest. Flex that foot, wrap the strap around our left foot. Send it up. Ah, oh, and just savour the sensation here. Find that connection with the lower back. We might have our knee super bent. We might have it straight. Just play here for a moment. Observe the sensations. Transfer the strap into the left hand. So left hand, left foot. Right arm goes out wide as a counterbalance. We're going to bend that left knee in towards our chest or in towards our armpit. And then just take that foot out to the side. You'll just feel a nice inner thigh stretch here. So just be super, super gentle with yourself. Practice ahimsa. Do no harm to yourself or others. My practice is my practice. Yours will be yours. There is no need for them to look the same. Just take this time to check in with your body. Observe the sensations and move in a way that feels good for you. Inhaling and softening and letting go. When you're ready, super slowly and gently come back to center. Send our right leg long. And I'm just going to wriggle out here because I'm super close to the wall. Send our left arm wide. Our left shoulder stays on the ground. Our gaze goes towards our left fingertips. And our left leg is in the air. So we might just stay here. We might feel if we straighten that leg quite a stretch on the side of the body. Or if you'd like to just tilt that foot towards the right a little bit, the opposite way to your gaze, you'll start to feel a nice lower back, nice hip opening as well. So just go to where it feels good. You might have that knee bent, you might have it straight, lengthen or shorten the strap depending on what type of angle you want. Just go to where it feels really nice for you. You'll find a nice sweet spot of effort and effortlessness. When you're ready, bring that foot back up to center. Bring that knee towards your chest. Give yourself a super big squeeze. Wriggle side to side or just be still. Just observing the sensations. You can bring that right knee back in again. Give yourself another big hug. Another thing you might take happy baby if that feels good for you. Sending the knees into the armpits, grabbing the outer edges of the feet, rocking side to side. When we're ready, if you are a happy baby, release the feet. And we're all just going to rock super, super gently up into seated position. Come into your seated position. Find length in the spine. Might have one leg out, might have a block. Get yourself super, super comfy here. Inhale, big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch. Oh, so nice. And exhale, back to heart center. Inhale, big arm circle, nice and slow. Connect with our breath. And exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Just walk our fingers behind us, find length, squeeze the shoulder blades. And just open up the chest here. Nice and soft. Use the breath as the expansion. And exhale, find that softness and release. 
inhaling and exhaling. When you're ready, walk your hands forward. Come over into our tabletop position. And we're just going to gently keep our knees and hips in alignment. We might put some nice cushions or a pillow underneath our knees to make them super cushy. We're just going to walk our hands forward, coming into our puppy or melting heart pose, really opening up the chest here. So breathing here, shoulder blades down the back. We might have a pillow underneath our forehead as well. And same as before, find softness, release any tension, any holding on in the jaw, the neck, the shoulders. Inhale. And exhale, release a little deeper. Allow yourself, give yourself permission to let go. Ready, lift the forehead, walk the hands in, push away, give yourself a wriggle, nice and slow. You might roll the shoulders, shake the hips side to side, take them in figure eights. Just really wriggle out any last tension, any niggles. And when we're ready, we're going to take a frog pose, a wide knee stance. So you might twist to the side if you've got a mat, so you've got nice cushy protection for your knees. So wherever we are, we'll start in tabletop position, really put weight into our hands and gently start to walk our knees one at a time, a little bit wider than hip distance. So really take your time here. Your heels can be in towards one another if you want a lesser stretch or if you want a little bit more ankle to knee alignment. So you might stay here, you might be on a block here as well, that can be really helpful. Or you can just send the forearms down towards the earth, relax the neck, the shoulders. And wherever we are, we're just going to gently send the hips towards the heels. Literally just let gravity take us. Beautiful inner thigh stretch here. Really getting a lot of oxygen and blood into our joints, into our hips, ligaments, fascia. So find length on your inhale, find expansion and exhale, surrender and release. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale once more. And sigh it out. Release the jaw, the neck, the shoulders. Feel your body just start to sink a little bit deeper into the pose. And when we're ready. Send our hips just in line with our knees or a little bit further forward. You'll feel that space where it is comfortable for you to come gently back onto your hands, placing lots of weight into our hands to protect our knees. Walk our knees in one at a time, super slowly. Nice. And once we're here, we're going to literally sweep our feet towards the side. Come on back over onto our back. It's the nicest place to be for a nice relaxing class. So roll on down, feet together, knees wide. Place one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest. And just focus on that rise and fall of your breath. Inhale, feel the belly, ribs, the collarbones. And exhale, soften and release. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. We might stay like this. So you might send the legs long into your savasana. So we come into a beautiful body scan today. So everyone, make sure you're super comfy. And when we're ready, inhale. Bring our awareness to the soles of our feet our toes, our ankles. Observe the sensations here. And exhale, melt any tension into the earth below. Bring your awareness to your calves, your knees, your kneecaps. Inhale, observe any sensations. And exhale, melt any tension into the earth below. 
Bring your awareness to your thighs, your glutes, your hips, your lower back. Observe the sensations here. So much power, so much tension often held on in the body. Be gentle and curious with yourself. Observe. And exhale. Give yourself permission to release and let go. Bring your awareness to your mid-back, your shoulder blades, your shoulders. Observe as we fill up the body with energy and light and space. And exhale. Release any last tension into the earth below. Bring your awareness to your forearms, your biceps, your fingertips. Observe the sensations. It could be the rise and fall of your belly and chest or the air on your palms. Inhale, observe. And exhale, release any last tension away. Bring your awareness to your neck, your scalp, your forehead. Observe. And exhale, soften and release. Inhale, bring your awareness to your eyes, your eyebrows, your eye sockets. Observe any sensations. And exhale, relax and release. Bring your awareness to your cheeks, your jaw, your tongue. Observe and exhale, melt any last tension into the floor below. Bring your awareness to your throat and back to the rise and fall of your breath. Inhale for the belly, ribs, the collarbones. Big sigh, exhale, let it all go. Allow yourself to release fully into the earth below. Find yourself in a beautiful state of relaxed bliss. Just being content, being happy exactly as we are. Exactly where we are right now. You are perfect, you are beautiful and you are enough in this present moment. Using the arms up overhead. Lengthen out the legs if you haven't already. Wriggle the fingers, wriggle the toes, stretch. And roll over onto a side that suits you, using your arm as a pillow. Coming on up into seated in your own time. All together, big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch, savor the sensation. And exhale back to heart center. Sending you lots of love and gratitude. Namaste.